Hey everybody, um, thanks for watching. I am starting to work on my fuel system. I got, had some, we kind of started once and then I had some issues. Uh, <clears throat> so with this, I'm using the S10 fuel tank, which probably is still going to be a minor issue. Because uh, of the way this neck comes out, I kind of don't want to come out of the side of my truck. But if I don't want to spend another four or five hundred bucks for a rear fuel tank, I don't know what other option I have other than patching this hole and drilling a hole in the top. Do they do that? Uh, my fuel tank hasn't had any gas in it yet, so I guess I could blind this off. Uh, I don't know. But when I went to put, I ordered 6AN fittings, and I went to put them on my fuel pump. Well, Chevy, on their fuel pumps, they have a 14 and a 16 by one and a half millimeters. So I had to order two adapters off of Amazon. So I got this Fregola and then I got another one that is a, this one's a 14, a female adapter to a 6AN and then I got another one that it's a blue Edelbrock but it's a 16 that goes on this other line to 6AN. So I'm gonna put those on and then I ordered a different fuel filter. This is what my buddy runs on his 53 Ford, but the filters inside, when it gets dirty, you can pull it out, wipe it off, clean it up, and stick it back on. But it looks like it slides out real nice. You got flexible lines on both sides. That should be nice, huh, Tater? So, got that. I'm gonna mount that inside the fuel Inside the frame there somewhere but I've got to run a supply line and a bypass line back to the tank for this aeromotive uh, pressure regulator because I'm running a carburetor right now so I got that I got a pressure <coughs> uh, gauge so I can tell but I'm gonna start putting this together. Uh, I cut this with a grinder, a cutoff wheel. Still really messy. I think I might tape the next one, use electrical tape, tape it off, and then do it. But that's what I'm using. Uh, nearly everything's eBay. These were Amazon. But again, 14 and 16 by one and a half for those two. So. Here I go. Okay, I got my adapters on. Six Again, 16, 14, or vice versa, to 6 a.m. There's a little handcuff. It's a little loose, so I put some electrical tape on there. I was thinking, talking to my son that, well, he said it. I did not. It's probably supposed to be that way, loose, to keep it from crushing the fuel line. Uh, might have to do something so that doesn't rub through eventually. But I'll band that again. And then, uh, there. So there's my fuel filter mounted. I drilled these out to... Uh, what? Seven sixteenths, so I could get just over, so I could get a quarter inch bolt in there. So bolted that out here, and then I left the line looped so I can put my bed on. So that's what we're gonna do. That's where the fuel line's at. We're trying to figure out what this line was. I think it's a vent line for the carburetor. That's the other end right here. Maybe goes there. I don't know. 
have no clue, but there's a line that gets a hose, and I know this one's the vent that goes with the fill. Vent with the fill. So, put her back together once again for a minute.